hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in in today's video i will show you how i made this simple recipe you can achieve with the few ingredients in your kitchen so keep watching in a bowl i added my sieved flour to that i added nutmeg sugar and salt mix to combine together then i go in with butter mix until a crumb is formed Next, I added one egg and milk. In a situation where there is no milk, you can replace it with water. Add it bit by bit and mix until you get a perfect dough. Today's shout out goes to Ike Tobe, Alero Friday, user EF5W, and user WW4G. I'm glad you all love the recipe. Please don't forget to drop a lovely comment and tell us where we are watching from so that we'll give you a very big shout out in our next video. Thank you. If you are new here, a warm welcome to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, put on your notification bell, share this video to your family and friends and drop a lovely comment. Also don't forget to like the video. To my returning subscribers, I appreciate you all. Don't forget to like the video. By liking this video, it will help YouTube to push it more for more people to come across it. After mixing the dough, you cover to allow to rest for 10 minutes. Then back to the dough, you knead for just 2 minutes and divide the dough into 2 equal parts. Get one part of the dough and roll as flat as 2 cm. Flip to the other side and repeat the same process. Continue this process until it's flat as 2 cm. Now here is the trick. Gently fold the dough back. Grab your rolling pin and give it a gentle roll, not too flat. Just watch closely what I'm doing in this video. Give it a gentle roll and then cut the doughs to your sizes. Here I cut them to one inch. You can cut more than this or smaller than this. It depends on the size you want. Repeat the same process to the remaining dough. Then in a hot moderate oil, add in the doughs. Allow it to fry for 50 seconds, then you can flip it to the other side. Continue to check upon it every 2 minutes to make sure that the dough get, doesn't get burnt while the inside is not cooked. Remember, you don't need too much heat in frying this recipe. All you need is just a moderate heat. Fry until it turns golden brown. Take them out from heat and spread in a parchment paper to dry off the excess oil. Serve and enjoy. If you have watched to this end, I'm very glad that you love this recipe. Please don't forget to like, share and drop a lovely comment. See you all in my next video. I love you. Bye.